Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to our happy little kingdom in the castle that's going oddly well, which is rare for me. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to work on this more today. And yeah, expand out once again. Now, as I like to do at the start, let's make sure we're doing okay. Now, Sunstone is a little bit of an issue right now. Something I haven't done too much of yet. I think I have one or two down. Is the market. Yeah, we have one right there, as you can see. But the markets allow my residents to trade, and I believe we, we basically tax them. So we should gain a little bit of money if we add a couple more markets down, hopefully, so I don't have to deal with that right away. Because, yeah, we have all these special resources. That being said, we don't have too much, and that didn't actually change the Sunstone at all. I thought it would. Interesting. Because it replenishes royal tre treasury and improves mood. Um, Well, they're down. I think we're just going to have to work on getting some Sunstone pretty quickly here. Actually, we have two out of the three workers working here for whatever reason, so we should be okay now for the time being. I'm going to slow down on the mass recruitment right now because I want to focus on defenses. I guess technically recruiting is defenses, but what I'm talking about is finally getting these walls done. So we're going to capture this spot over here so we can mine for some more stone. Because my goal by the end of probably tomorrow is to have a stone wall all the way around this thing. So we have that added layer of security of stone. Kind of like how a VPN is an added layer of security if you browse the internet. And that brings us to this video's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is a fast and simple to use VPN service that you can use on a variety of devices ranging from your smart TV and video game console all the way to your phone. And you don't have to worry because one plan gives you access to an unlimited amount of devices. Now, I mostly use it on PC and it's as easy as clicking on one of the 32,000 plus servers and bam, you are hidden from attackers. Beyond just protection for your IP and data, Surfshark VPN can be used to watch exclusive content that is region locked on apps like Netflix and YouTube. And if you travel a lot, it's great to stay safe on public Wi-Fi. Now, this is just scratching the surface of what Surfshark VPN can do for you, so I recommend you click the link at the top of this video description to learn more about all the features of this service. And now is a great time to join, because if you use code DRE, you can get 83% off of a 24-month subscription and an extra three months totally free. Thanks for taking the time to listen. Now, let's get back to castle building. All right, so we can upgrade some of the walls right now, and by some of them, I mean one. Oh my god, stone is stone is a, a very slow thing to obtain, but that's okay because we should be getting a crap load of it now with our brand new fancy stone quarry. Perfect. I want to make sure. I know one went down. I think it was this one, Um, and yeah, it's back up. Thank god for the builder's hut, man. I love that the builders just automatically repair. It makes my life way easier. Okay, for whatever reason, my fishers quit on me. No wonder why I was dropping so much food. There was nobody at the fisher hut oh okay that's the brand new stone quarry perfect so we'll throw them on there um church we don't need to worry about oh that explains the markets we need somebody on the stall okay well now we're doing great for sunstone so we can get some archers today if we want um, and yeah, we, we may as well do that because the only other thing we're really focusing on right now is stone. So yeah, let's just be careful. We don't want to go crazy with the sunstone because it's getting very hard to obtain anymore. I should actually kind of uh, plan out where I want to go next for the sunstone. That being said, now that I figured out the markets, we might actually gain a crap load of sunstone with these things. I don't know how many markets I can have down, but I'm going to go crazy with them because they're so easy to make. Oh, does it actually show me in the daytime whether they come? Because we have these blue torches here. That could be a glitch as well, but... But just because we see that, I'm going to take half my team and bring them over on that side. If I miss that and it's been showing me daytime where they're going to be coming, um, that makes melee warriors so much more viable. Oh, God, I hope I didn't miss that. But yeah, we'll see tonight if they come this way because that's insane if I get that intel right away. All right, where the hell did my knights go? I brought over some knights, but uh, I guess they didn't want to come. Here's the big question. Oh, my God. This is game changing. This makes my life... 10 times easier i thought it was only at night time well that's a little bit embarrassing so let's slow this down i still didn't get my knights to come over i thought they walked over but only two of them actually came so i think they got stuck in the city well this makes melee units way more viable because i can actually do formations every night um which is fantastic because yeah oh my god they have giants this is a little scary we have lots of archers let's bring over some more archers though we at least set up with a bunch of archers but yeah we definitely want to get a hell of a lot more now we're going to be moving our units way more often now i don't know why we get the intel at the start of the day maybe that was a glitch we'll find out tomorrow all right here goes the first attack oh my god they have a trebuchet as well because last time i think they only had a battering ram but we should be okay we got two knights here 
I can't believe I didn't get my knights over here. I was too focused on the damn stone. All right, that's fine. We seem to be doing okay anyways. We'll probably lose this soul stone. Yeah, we already did. Oh, God. Get this guy. Get this guy. I really wish I could tell them to target. My team's coming in, but they might actually take this down. Oh, they're at the front door. My team is here fighting them. I'm definitely going to make some more melee units tomorrow because they have freaking giant golems that are actually destroying me right now. Come on, get him down. Get the golem. I feel like that's important. Let's get the trebuchet as well. Golems are slow, so I can kind of kite them around uh, instead of trying to fight them right now. Let the archers do the majority of the damage. You know what? Let's just take them out. We should be okay. That's what the church is for. We survived it. And we learned a lot about how to do this now. It didn't even break my wall. Okay, so we are going to totally stop the archers now, as long as we can see where they're coming from. So let's slow it down real quick. Um, or was that a glitch? Was that the most useful glitch I've ever seen? Okay, I don't see the blue out here, but what I am seeing is blue on the inside wall now. Um, everywhere else is red, so that's gotta be it, right? That's gotta be where they're coming from? No, there's actually blue here, too. That being said, it could be a giant attack this way. So I think I'll just bring my units this way, and we won't go crazy moving the archers. But we'll definitely put a lot on this wall. So for whatever reason, I just hit a major food issue again. Um, workers are all good, it looks like. And I don't... I didn't even recruit anybody. That's the crazy thing. It's like sometimes these guys just get extra hungry. So I, I've rapidly expanded out. I'm building this right now. We might actually run out of food, though, which I'm worried about my mood with that. We should be okay, but maybe I should prep and get some more food as well. I don't think I lost any food sources, did I? We have a hunting thing over here. You know what? How much wood do I got? I've been using wood. Okay, so we'll move over to the hunting in a bit. We actually have hunting right by us as well, so at least we can expand out to those two. But we should be okay with the one farm. I'm going in slow motion right now because I'm trying to keep up with everything. You know what? I just want to get this farm up and upgraded as quickly as possible at this point. All right, well, I put a hunter's hut down here. I guess I have this one too. I just don't want to get too close to the those wolves. Now, you guys told me that if I let the wolves stay, they attack the enemies. So that's why I'm not killing those guys. We're not really expanding out there anyways. So why not use them against us? I've upgraded to a stone wall on where we're going to hopefully be attacked. I really hope we're attacked here because I moved a lot of my archers over this way as well. And thank God we're back. We're okay for food now. That was a little scary. Now I have a crap load of sunstone. So you know what I think I'm going to do? Let's train up a small team of spearmen. I don't want to go real small right now because it's not like we're out of the food safe net yet so i don't want to you know expand out too much that's more mouse to feed um i also am going to need more home soon i mean it's just a constant struggle in this game you're, you're never safe and just able to just you know peacefully expand there we go this is all stone we are almost out of the wood age upgrade actually do i have enough right now i have 85 one more little piece come on we need 50 how much do I got? 43? It's almost nighttime. Am I really not going to be able to get the final wall today? I got it. I didn't even have enough stone. That didn't make sense. But we did it. Okay, but we have to focus now on the attack. And they are coming this way. Okay, sick. Um, I was hoping to get this set up right. I, sh I should have brought only my spearmen over. They came a little further than I expected, but we got lots of archers here, so we're okay. And it's battle time. Oh, these are archers. What the hell? No, pull back. Pull back, you idiots. How did I have so many archers out here? Jesus! All right, that's okay. We'll just have to pay attention here. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I had like a million archers out here. Pull in! Pull in! You guys are doing great. Oh, I love the fighting in this now that we have actual armies. We probably should just let them come to us, but being that I have the range-based attacks out here, I'm just going to take them down. Um, but yeah, we're not really utilizing my wall right now. That's okay. We have a church. We should be okay to take all these guys down. That went extremely well. This is so much better now. Oh, was that all of them, though? That was a rather small wave, it felt like. We did have a couple siege weapons and a couple giants, I guess. So now what I'm going to do, because we're just going to continue getting stone, is just slowly make double walls wherever they're attacking. That way, we're not wasting our storage. We have a, wo a wood issue as well, as you can see. So I've been just slowly buying tiles I want to expand out to. Just so we don't waste any time, it costs a lot, as you can see as well, to capture each tile now. I don't know if it goes up as we expand out or what, but it seems like it's way more expensive now. 
Actually, you know what? Instead of doing the double wall, let's start building some more towers around. Uh, that way I can build siege weapons as well. They cost a lot. Obviously, the ultimate goal is to have a, a tower wherever I can place them. These are actually way cheaper than I thought, too. We might need another siege workshop. Um, some of them I can't place because I built buildings too close. So we'll slowly start deleting those. But yeah, it's only 30 stone for a giant tower. That feels so odd. Oh god, negative eight mood. Why'd you guys get all upset? It's so weird. Sometimes they just get so frustrated with me. I mean, you have food. What, what else do you want? Sunstone? I'm working on it, damn it. Oh no, oh no, you were supposed to build it. Okay, let's go. Let's fo focus on the battle. Okay, we actually got... Look at how many archers I have over here now. I have my spearmen in the front lines here. I'm gonna let them come to me. Um, I just gotta make sure they don't, like, deek me or anything like that. Uh, we do have two teams coming in, so I'm gonna bring my swordsmen over this way. We have trebuchets everywhere. I was hoping to get more trebuchets up, but that's okay. Again, I'm just gonna let that farm go down. I'm not too worried about it. I want them to come to me because I have all the damage on my walls. Farms are easy to build. It takes literally seconds. So as long as they don't take down my city, that's the important part. Come on, Spearman, do your thing. Just hold them off. There we go. Yeah, do, do your stabby stabs. I'm gonna go for the siege weapon here. They got two siege weapons. Actually, let's go for the catapult because that can destroy my archers. I'm not too worried about them destroying a wall. Uh, there we go. We got that down. They got the other one down. They actually took down my team over there. I might need to recruit a second church goer because I'm going to need to res a lot of people. But yeah, it's, sa it's safe to say we still have the upper hand. No problem at all. And I didn't bring anywhere near all of my archers over here. So we have a lot more we can push if we do need to. Oh, and they're coming in over here this today. All right, that's exciting, actually, because I got trebuchets everywhere over here, and we'll get one more up here in a second. I also love how I'm I'm so expanded out now. My, um, my assigned workers list doesn't go down to the bottom, so I still have to manually check everything to make sure, because for whatever reason, some magically vanish from time to time. I think they actually die. Like, look at that. We have a hunter right there that didn't go. That or they just quit on me. And de that being said, they are in pretty low mood right now, but I just built this tavern, so we should be okay again, hopefully. Look at all my archers just running over there. I put so many over there in, in prep. So yeah, now my limiting factor is Sunstone once again. These siege engines take 500 each. I'm only gaining uh, 213 a minute, which sounds good. But when you have this many towers now, I still need one, two, three, four. I think four right now. And I want five actually. And I want to add obviously more towers as well. But we've at least exp like doubled our towers since the start of this episode. All right. And there you have it. We have double sided all the way around aside from this last piece. Of course, I just ran out. Oh my god, it looks like a legit castle now, though. How much do I need for this? 36? Oh, we're there. Done. I think that's everything. <laughs> I guess we'll just add gates everywhere now to increase speed. Ooh, they're coming way further over than I expected, though. So that took me by surprise. Let's start bringing these guys over here. I got my spearmen coming in. Uh, I want to obviously get them in range, though, so I'm going to try and get these archers closer. They have a lot of archers now, unfortunately. Look at my trebuchets just going crazy. This is actually a pretty easy wave. That being said, I might have killed them all before I even saw them, but uh, they didn't have any siege weapons there. Just one giant golem. All right, I keep wanting to increase my uh, melee team, but honestly, I don't even come close to dying. I didn't lose anybody that day. Why, why, why are these waves becoming easier? Am I just becoming stronger, I guess? All right, guys, and I think we'll wrap up this episode here. It is officially going way too well. I finally understand this very important mechanic, and uh, that has helped me address the fact that I'm not going to need archers all around my kingdom. And yeah, we're in the Stone Age now. All we need now is a way to get more Sunstone so I can advance out my military faster than they're advancing theirs. So I want to thank Surfshark VPN once again for sponsoring this episode. I hope Hope you guys enjoyed this one and yeah as always thanks for watching and liking guys i'll see you in the next one